Well, good morning again, everybody. Chaplain Joe back at you here again. I want to talk to you again about mastering your mind with the with the um, influence or with the with the subject matter of is your faith in God changing the way you think? In a very familiar passage of Scripture, Hebrews eleven and one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The reason I want to talk about faith because faith is very important to mastering your mind because if you don't have a scripture or something to really you know attach your faith to then you could be believing God for all kinds of things but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come to pass you know you could be just hoping or wishing for something but that's not the way God operates so if we have a scripture though like a promise from God that can back up our faith it brings substance and a purpose and a uh, it brings meat if you will to our belief system so instead of just going from hoping or wishing, we now have faith via the scripture to back up what's going on in my life. And therefore, I can, I can hold on to that scripture in the midst of tough times. So knowing the word of God is very important here because that way when I, get, when I get a scripture, when I get a verse of what I'm going through, it's more than just a hope or wish that I have. This is an actual faith. It's a belief system back in scripture that it's either going to be okay or God's going to bring me out or, you know, even if I, if I don't come out, God's still going to be with me, whatever, because I have a verse to back up what I'm believing because I have substance to my faith. Now, that's very key because in, in Ephesians 6, it says, put on the whole armor of God. And one of those pieces of the armor is the shield of faith. Now, the Bible says the reason we need that shield of faith is to, to thwart off the fiery darts of the enemy. So how does the enemy do it? He will give us, you know, he'll, he'll speak to us and say, you're no good, you're never going to be anything, you're too stupid, your parents were too stupid, you can't read well enough, all these things, you know, you're not, you haven't been saved long enough, you can't do anything in Christianity because, you know, you haven't been saved long enough, you don't know enough Bible enough, all these negative thoughts are going to come. But the shield of faith thwarts off the, the fiery darts of the enemy. So it's very, very key that we get good scripture in us, know the word of God in us, so when these fiery darts of the enemy come, when these attacks come, we have something to fight them off with. Now that's very, very important in, in today and age too, because with COVID-19 and with the racial tensions going on in our country right now, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, it, when all those things are going on, you may have to fast. You may have to, you know, put down your plate and you may have to turn off the news to get rid of all these fiery darts of these negative voices and all the stuff going on right now. Because if you listen to all that, you can go crazy. So it may be time to turn off the TV, turn off Facebook, God forbid, Turn off Facebook and maybe put your plate down and really, you know, pray again and really get back into the scriptures again so we can really hear the voice of God and what God is saying to us as opposed to the fiery darts that are coming at us. So being, having faith and having scriptures to back up your faith is very important. So I'm just going to leave you with this. Continue to get into the word of God. Seek the word of God and seek the Lord in prayer so you can really hear his voice as opposed to all the fiery darts and the voices out there today. And that way you can keep your sanity, you can keep your peace, and you can have your inner well-being in the midst of all this chaos. So with that, I love you, and God bless.